is going on guys and welcome to a new video and in this video I'm going to talk about a post that was posted to the RuneScape forums that some of you might not have seen which is basically day one of uh, stats of killing Telos and I like how they've started doing this they started off with the uh, level 96 slave creatures I believe and they, they've started to release statistics like number of kills number of rare drops entered into the game um, and it, it's really good to look at these and sort of figure out try to figure out what's going on with the boss itself. Uh, and so in the background, I'm just going to uh, throw up some clips of what I was going to throw in the Road to Rebuild episode. However, uh, and just like there are a couple of nice drops in there, but yeah, it's just going to be a Raxor and Nex. Uh, in the background, so you can, if you want something to watch, then have a look at those. If not, then um, you can just, uh, this is more like podcast again. Um, and basically, I'll just pop up on screen now as well the link to the, to the mini guide that I did for anyone. Uh, that does want to have a look at that and yeah we'll jump straight into what my thoughts on this now so basically the stats that they've released are that Telos has been killed 82,530 times in one day which is absolutely insane that's a lot of boss kills in one day and but the interesting statistics of this are the rare drops so there's been one dormant Zaros Grower Sword one dormant Staff of Sliskate and two dormant Serent God Bows so that's four of the dormant weapons, T92 weapons in 82,000 kills, that's just, just an insane drop rate, that's 1 in 20k and then there's been 6 orbs of pure anima, so there's 3 orbs that you need to make the dormant bows into actual working T92 weapons So uh, and, and there's been 6 of the pure anima one, but none of the other 2, which I think is quite interesting and I'll go into that in a minute, so basically at the moment the stats look like it's crazy crazy rare, you know, 1 in 20,000 drop rate seems ridiculous, but the things we've got to think about are that this is being killed at a very low rage at the moment and we know how the mechanic is that you have to chain up kills to have a better shot and also they have the the bronze silver gold tiering and that gold is like 100 percent plus and um at further down in this thread actually one of the other mod posts that we that are you basically to start seeing these weapons going more consistently into the game that you need to be getting a good a good kill count over 100% so basically you're going to want to start chaining from low in range and building it right up over to that 100% threshold for the best possible chances to get these uh, dormant uh, weapons and I really like that because it's actually quite challenging to get so many kills in a row like it's quite easy to lose concentration for a second and to die and the, and I just think it, the mechanic the drop mechanic of this boss is excellent because I don't think it's going to devalue tier 90 weapons at all um, which is great because this is like one of the first times that t like lower level, lower tier weapons are still going to be used and useful throughout the game, and I just think it's a the great way that they've done the loot, um, and it's going to take time and effort to actually get these weapons, and uh, they're going to remain a high price for a really long time. And yeah, there is still the odd chance that you could get super lucky and get it on low rage, uh, but that is very unlikely to happen. And so moving back to the six orbs that are in the game at the moment. They're all the same type, and none of the other orbs have come into the game, which makes me sort of think two different things um, about how these the the orb drop rate. And basically, it from my thoughts are that either it's a weekly rotation, three daily rotation, whatever, where only one type of orb can be dropped during that rotation, and there may be new mechanics that nobody's expecting to come within the next couple of weeks, where these rotations will change. Um, and we get a different orb that's one thought I've had or well, the second thought is that there is some sort of mechanic in the kill where it determines what orb you'll get if you get one so what I mean by that is for our axle you take path 1, 2 or 3 you get leg piece 1, 2 or 3 so I think with the different coloured beams I think it's got something to do with where you stand in the beams how long you stand in the beam for has to do with which orb you get uh, so like if you stand in the red beam you get the lava one if you stand in the or uh, the brightly coloured one you get the animal one and if you stand in the darkness one you get the, the darker one and I think it's probably to do with sort of the, the phase 5 um, so if you depending on which beam you, you use the most to take the boss down that's what um, that's what orb you'll get and that's, that's just one theory that I have who knows what it could be it could be the other one but yeah I just wanted to really uh, get my thoughts down for anyone that hadn't seen this post just how crazy rare the drop rate is at the moment um, is looking like it's going to have to be sort of building up from that low in rage um, up to 100% and onwards to get better chances of these T92 weapons and sort of another thought that I've had is like for Virago the amount of player time that went into it at the start so you had sort of 8, 10 plus people killing it 
and each was like 15 minute, 20 minute kills, whatever it was at the start. That's a lot of player hours going into one kill. So this chain mechanic sort of replicates that for the single player in that you have to consistently get kills, not die, um, and put in the same amount of hours that you would have to do for say one Virago kill to get these higher tier weapons. And I just, I really, really am impressed at how they've done this. I'm really impressed that I don't think this is gonna devalue tier 90s at all. Um, and it's just overall absolutely great boss um, and yeah that's still all my thoughts on this at the moment quite short video today but I will be working on more kills I want to get as many kills as I can today just chain those up hopefully if I pull out a drop there'll definitely a, bit, a video could be going up because that's going to be absolute bank at the moment they're like 1.5 bill plus absolutely crazy amounts of money and that would be a hell of a way to the rebuild but yeah hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts my ramblings and I'll see you guys in the next video